Hi, everybody. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you doing? Happy Tuesday. I have happy. Are you good? Are you fine? Happy. Okay. Great. That sounds good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, cool. Hey, guys. It's only Ricardo here. So I got a couple of you. Si, Pedrino, Natalie. Presentation. Miriam. Hi, guys. How are you? Fine. Thank you. Fine. Yes. Super cool day. Did you have a good day, a bad day, a difficult day? <laughs> what kind of day was today? Difficult day. A difficult day, why? Yes. Why was it difficult? Um, one client uh, is supported. Okay. Was a hard day, okay. Sorry to hear that, but espero que ahora, you know, I hope you have, well, the good thing is that you're home already, so hopefully it gets better, you know, really hope so. Or tomorrow, either way, it's going to be a better day. So gracias a, um, a los compañeros por conectarse super temprano. I saw a couple of you super early here, so thanks a lot for that. Um, we are going to get started today with class number two. And um, we have like a lot to take for this module. So we are going to get started right away. And um, we are going to get started by taking attendance. Así que allow me just a minute. Hold on. Okay, so <laughs> give me one second. All right, I think we're good. So everybody, let me get started and take your attendance. Si me ayudan, please, un momento con su camarita. Let me see your faces. Uh, and also we can have some confirmation that you're there. That would be amazing. That would be great. So, just go ahead and take this for you. Um, okay, so my first person is Ana. Anita, no sé si ya está por acá. Probably not. Okay, so not yet. Just a second, uh, Brenda, I think it's a Brenda. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, Brian. Oh, okay. Carlos, Carlos, ¿está por acá? No te acordás del trópico de cáncer. Anthony. El voladito que el que está en la... En la... Oh, not yet. Okay, Guadalupe. Guadalupe, Guadalupe. Is that Natalie? Thank you, Guadalupe. Thank you, Natalie. Uh, Jackie? Hello, Miss. Yes, it's Miss. Hello, no, nice to meet you. Hello. Uh, Clary. <laughs> I am oh, Clary. Oh, you're Clary, yeah. Uh, Melly, um... She doesn't feel a well, miss. Oh, okay. Thanks for the she information. Is she is headache. 
Oh, all right. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, thanks a lot, though. Thanks a lot for the info. Um, okay. Jocelyn? Present. Thank you, Jocelyn. Ignacio? Present, teacher. Thank you. Not a bird. I am here, teacher. Present. Thank you. Marvin? Uh, Alexander? Alex? Bonilla? No. <laughs> okay, Marvin Lopez? Not yet. Um, the, well, Clary, I already listened to your your new voice, Clary. Oh, and I'm really sad that yes. you're still <laughs> <laughs> yes. with a sore throat and a cough and everything, I guess. All right. Um, Moses, what are you Moses? Like super early too. Thank you, Moses. Um, the Pedrina, I heard Pedrina as well. Present. There you go. Rene? Present, present. Hey, glad to listen to you. Thank you. Ricardo, Richard. Present, teacher. Thank Hello. you. Sandra, Sandrita. Present, teacher. Hey, amazing. Thank you. This is for the Sarah Kimis. Sonia Mabel. Present, teacher. Thank you. What do you prefer, me, Sonia or Mabel? Mabel. Okay, okay, thank you. And Ingrid. Oh, Ingrid is not here yet. Okay. Anybody else? Guys, no mention alguien. Did I mention everybody? Teacher. I'm just missing some. Anita, no, hello. Teacher. Hello, Guadalupe. Thanks a lot for coming right on time. Thanks a lot. Okay. So I guess I'm still missing some. Okay, so let me present my screen for today and what we are going to be doing. One second. Okay, so guys, uh, we are going to have today session number two, all right? Vamos a um, eh, practicar kind of new vocabulary, new things. Yesterday was day number one. We kind of learn new vocabulary. Aprendemos un par de palabritas nuevas. I guess everybody learned one, two words that we didn't know before. So I need your help. ¿De qué vocabulario se recuerdan? What words do you remember from yesterday? Something that you say, oh, ya me aprendí eso. I, I already got this. I know what this means. Boil. Boil, okay. Well, can you give me an example of boil? Or can it's you tell lazy. me something about it? Slice. Like a slice, like the pizza, pizza slices. Almond. Almond, okay. Give me some examples. Give me some Over. sentences with the vocabulary that, you, that was new for you, please. Only come. Uh, what was the word, Master? Bubblegum. Oh, bubblegum. What do you have? To, okay, give me one example with bubblegum. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of gum. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Any other word that you didn't know from yesterday? I might not. I'm sorry, Richard. What was that? Uh, manufacturing. manufacturing. A process. Yes, the process is absolutely a uh -huh. uh, We are the ticks. Yes, manufacturing can be a new word. So manufacturing is like um, every word, you know, or everything that refers to creation. Like yes. in El Salvador, especially, we have a lot of manufacturing companies. Can you tell me what kind of products we make? Any idea? Chocolate. Okay, man yeah, the manufacturing of chocolate. Yesterday, alguien mencionaba Miller, so that's okay. Any other company? I think in El Salvador, we have Capri. 
I think we, we have the manufacturing of Catri, do you know? Teacher, my vocabulary, my vocabulary today. Uh, yeah, the, the words that we checked yesterday. What words do you remember? But the new, my, my new words and vocabulary, for example, is that scrambled, scrambled eggs. Oh, okay. Uh, the with, different type of eggs. Uh -huh. Yes, with, with vegetables and uh, beans and banana. We, we, we drink, I drink uh, in my breakfast milk, hot milk. Okay. With a little sugar. All right. And uh, it's, my, it's my new, my new vocabulary and uh, sentences with. Oh, very yes. nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. I like it. That, that is like the words that you remember from yesterday. Excellent. Yesterday we checked a lot of verbs. For example, we checked the words like um, as, you know, like mixture, layers, thin, thick, etc. Please review those words every day to get them easily at the moment that we speak. Now let's move on a little. And let me present some of the words that we are going to be checking um, today, right? So here we have a couple of them. For example, we have the word push. Maybe it's not new because you see them every day in your company, at the doors, any other place. Where do you see push? Empujar, no? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Because in El Salvador, we use a lot of English words. So can you tell me a place where you have seen push? Teacher, I remember in the Metapan city in Santa Ana. Okay. Near, near, near to the, the cement, the, the fabric, uh, Cemento César. Okay. The uh, factory near factory, yeah, near to factory. Uh, the people make a push car. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think you mentioned that. Yeah, so to deliver materials, I think you said to carry yes. things. They they, mm -hmm. they use they use a roller and uh, wood. Okay. Cool. You know, very interesting, actually. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. So push is actually that, as Ignacio said, like pushing cars. So everything that is pushing, like the doors, so you push a door. ¿Qué más pueden presionar? What else can you push? Any other place where you have seen this? Not many? What about grabbing? Have you ever seen the word grab? So like when somebody has a telephone and you're like, give it to me. That is grabbing. Grabbing. Mm -hmm. Like hold it, take it with a lot of force. What is something that you grab? Or is it very common for you? Grab, quitar. Mm, grab is como sujetar, you know? Yes. Or arrebatar también. Like I have something, you grab it, pero con fuerza lo agarra exactly. So that is grabbing. Uh, like anything that comes to your mind. For example, people who work in building construction, so they have to grab, you know, like the, the different materials, the different tools they are going to use. So that is grabbing. What about in your case? Do you need to grab anything? Como sujetarlo con fuerza? When you are cooking, probably. So you have to grab uh, some, I don't know, some tools for cooking, the knife. So you have to grab it, all right? It's it. that, right? Yes? Richard? Richard. Yes. Uh, for, uh, for a gas. A funnel for the gas. Funnel of the the gap. Uh, you mean this one? You mean number Hoodnet, three? The, yes, Hoodnet, uh, 
que es, creo que es embudo. Exactly. Exactly. Eh, for, for gas, uh, my car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that yes. is the word. Yes, exactly. So a funeral is that, you know, something that we use for the gasoline or people who cook also they use some funerals. So like for oil, for water. So that's a funeral. Uh, the next one is place, but guys, not place the lugar. But place tiene otro sentido. Any idea what the meaning of place is? Like if I tell, if you tell me I have the food here and I tell you, oh, please place it there, place it on the table, place it on the floor. What is the meaning of lugar? place? La posición. Posición. Mm -hmm. So place es como póngalo, right? Like póngalo ahí, déjelo ahí, right? Es como la posición, exactly. La like, posición de lo ahí, but that is not a word we use. So para nosotros es como un póngalo. Okay, or when we say, or when you say, for example, oh, where is the computer? Oh, it is placed on the desk. So it's la posición, right? The place where it is located. So place no solamente es lugar, sino también lo podemos usar como un verbo, like poner en un lugar. So that is place. And the last one is factory. Guys, is there any factory near your house? Very close to your house? No factories? Or near your company? Is there any factory near your company? Uh, my work factory. Um, uh, piece, piece, uh, piezas. Um, car? Uh, okay, so car parts. Or yes. spare parts. Yes. But your company yeah. is not a Factory, I think. Eh, eh, yes, um, because um, eh, piezas eh, small, um, the, me the mechanics, um, a door, open the door. Mm -hmm. But does your company make them or your company sells them? Sell them. They, okay, your company sells them. So your company is more like a, like a company, <laughs> like an enterprise, okay? But what about factory? Uh, guys, any factory that comes to your mind, any factory that is being closed? So remember that a factory, no es solamente donde las, donde las venden, but a factory is donde las crean. They manufacture the products. For example, I know that the place uh, that make um, shirts, oh my goodness, uh, I don't remember the brand. <laughs> I have forgotten the brand completely. There is a brand for, for shirts for women and men, uh, pants, you know, uh, jeans, etc. That is kind of good, I think. Placid, uh, placid oh, okay. uh, factory Capri. Mm -hmm. For example, Capri, I think, is in Costa Rica, right? In the Costa Rica uh, community? In, in, in the, in, I am from, uh, from uh, Salvador. Yes, uh, Avenue uh, Modelo. No, no. Modelo. Avenue Modelo. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought it was over the Costa Rica. Yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, a question. Uh, for example, uh, you know, I, I work in, in Sagrisa, mm -hmm. but, but Sagrisa is near, near to printing La Unión. Okay. Printing La Unión is a factory. There is a factory. Sorry, I, I don't know. Is is a factory or is another? Um, I have no idea, my yeah. friend. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I don't, I don't know what it is. You know, I'm not familiar with where your company is. But remember that a factory is a place, a place that manufactures. For example, in El Salvador we have Capri, but um, la factory no es donde encontramos camas, but the factory is donde las hacen. So a factory is that the place where they make 
where they manufacture. So Norberto, I saw your headlight, yes. <laughs> so what is the manufacturer near your company or near your house? Um, what do they company. make? Mm -hmm. What products yeah, do they make? Mm, excuse me, um, uh, repeat. Miss. Yeah, the, the product, what do they make? Do they make shirts? Do they mm. make blouses? Do they make shoes? What is the product? In, in the factory? Mm -hmm. On the... In the... Um, no, no, because for example, I work for a, a company, let's say, but my company no es una factory because my company no fabrica. So, si su empresa fabrica algo, so that is a factory. Like, uh, for example, over San Marcos, hay muchas factories, right? There are a lot of factories like San Francisco, um, like... Oh my goodness. Plaza, um, Plaza en Laguna. Oh yeah, over Plaza La Laguna. There are like a lot of factories where people, recuerdo esta de Molinos del Salvador. So like this big company, they make um, flour, they make spaghetti. So yeah, that's a factory. Any other place? El Plan de La Laguna, San Marcos. Teacher, in, yeah. in el Boulevard del Ejército, Mm -hmm. uh, excise the camiseria norma. They they, oh. they make they make the uh, man underwear. Oh, so that is a factory. You know, that's a factory. What about Molsa? Do you know if Molsa is a factory? Yeah, la, la Constancia. They constant Constancia. But I I don't know if yeah. the Constancia they, they make they, it. They make it beer. Okay, so they make it. So, si lo hacen, si ellos lo fabrican, most likely, yes. yes. Most yes. likely. They, they, they have a, a materia prima. It is Raw material. When, when, when the factory to use the materia prima. Mm -hmm. the, I le voy a escribir la palabra ahorita acá. Es a raw material. Mm -hmm. Material. There you go. That's raw material. Raw material, okay. Yes, this is materia prima. Okay, so very good examples actually. In El Salvador, we have a lot. We I the thing is that probably we don't remember, but there are like a lot of factories here. We will practice this vocabulary later, but just remember a company not necessarily is a factory. So they those are like different terms we can use. So guys, let's talk a little bit about this and I need some volunteers. I have a conversation here about something related to these factories, products. So I would like to listen to yes, um, you know, two of you that would be fine. And mm -mm, let me see whose voice haven't I heard. Uh, Sonia, can you be so kind to help me with Job, please, with the first person. And Marvin Lopez, ya que lo tengo ahí, I'm going to take you. <laughs> so, Marvin, please help me with Kurt. Help me read it. The okay. first part, the second. Thank you. Yeah? Uh, yes. Okay. Kid, do you know what you need? To have a good pro. Uh, oh, that a good question. I think that what I will do is have quality in product. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that your product has to be best in the market. Because of the competence, I get it. Yes, you know, a uh, friend of mine has on the factory. Uh, what my friend did was to get fresh honey from lo local farmers. Sounds great. 
and at the same time he distribute to these people amazing thank you very much so guys what type what type of company does the friend have they mentioned something about the friend so what type of company does the friend have They say like a factory. So what type of factory? What a, what a, what a question. Yeah, what kind of company or what kind of factory does the friend, uh, Kurt's friend have? Honey factory. That is a honey, exactly. That is a honey factory. So. What they are talking about is well, guys. What do you think? De qué están hablando? What is the main topic in the conversation? Uh, of the quality. Quality. Okay, they are talking the about quality. the quality. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. What and, else? And uh, um, factory honey. Mm -hmm. They are talking about the quality of the products. They mentioned the factory, the honey factory. Honey factory yes. Uh... And they mentioned something else that is the competence of the market, right? How difficult it is. Um, guys, I have a question for you. Have you ever thought about having your own company, your own, I don't know, maybe not factory, maybe not that big at the beginning, but like a small business? Something that you can sell. I have a question. Yes. How do you say incentivar? Uh, to motivate or to boost? No. I'm going to write it down. So you can say boost or you can use the word motivate. Um, entonces, ¿cómo sería uh, motivate the economy, the local economy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or oh, boost it, enhance. Okay, that works. Guys, what type of business would you like to have? Have you ever thought about having a business? Alguien le gustaría tener un business? Would you like to have a business? A small one, a big one, any type of business, like a food business, like a handcraft business, like any type of business? Barbershop. A barber shop, very interesting. Okay. I have a barber shop. This is my I think you, my future dream. Business. I like it. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. Like with a brilliant future. Guys, what about the rest of you? What type of business would you like to have? No, no business. You're not like bisneros or anything. <laughs> not very No business. If you have the opportunity, sure. guys, to, to start, yes, teacher. even sure. algo pequeñito, something small, yes, what would it be? Norbert? Uh, teacher, uh, business is, is, ¿qué es business? What is business? A bis business es un negocio. Por muy oh. pequeño que sea, es un negocio. Uh -huh. Okay, es, es que lo tenía confundido porque store es tienda. Yeah. Mm, es que el store es más físico, you know, like, like the physical place, pero un business no necesariamente necesita un local. So it can be like an online business, it can be like a service, mm -hmm. so no, no necesita un store. So guys, ¿qué tipo de negocio le gustaría? What kind of business would you like? O si alguna vez han emprendido, have you ever started your business? Uh, I fiber. like. Jocelyn? Uh, I like the beauty, beauty salon. Ooh, amazing. Can you do that? Can you make haircuts? Can you yes. like, put some uh, nails? A foreman or what man? Foreman or, or girl? My the, 
Oh, Both. you mean for Jocelyn. Okay. Yes. Both. All right. Yes. All right. Richard, what is your business? Unison. My my visitor um do uh, would like um uh, uh eat uh seria seria selling uh food selling food what yes. type of like a uh, cafeteria uh, like uh, food to go like sandwiches what type of food uh, Star um cafeteria. Eh, like a cafeteria. Yes. Mm, más quizás uh, más adelante eh, later? restaurant. Later. Okay, later uh, restaurant. restaurant. I like uh, it. That sounds yes, good. Yes, food eh, tailandesa. Ma, oh, uh, yes. What? Uh, food <laughs> food uh, Mexica. Okay, okay. Yes. so we are talking about specialties here. Yes. <laughs> I have a question for you, Richard. Can you cook uh, Thai food? <laughs> Can yes. you make like uh, Mexican food, Thai food? Yes. Okay, first, creo que necesit necesitamos la prueba, right guys? <laughs> so I need to taste your food. No, but that is wonderful. So because you have the, because you know how to do it. So that is just wonderful. Guys, anybody else? So we have cafeterias here, beauty salons, um, barbershop, anybody else? Uh, Anna, I think you said yes. What was your business? Product uh, yeah. perfume. Oh, okay. Only for girls, for boys, for both? Um, for women and, and, and boys. Oh, okay, very interesting. What about the rest? Guys, this is the moment to come out with your brilliant ideas and we can listen to you. So, uh, teacher. Yes. My, my, uh, my participate in mm -hmm. my daughter, Jenny. Okay. Uh, has a business. Oh, she has a business. Yes, yes. She works. Small? She or a big one. She she worked giving beauty at home. So she goes to your house. Mm -hmm. She she goes just yes, at the your customer. Mm -hmm. She she's giving the beauty at home. Um, um what a, di a different a different and in in all San Salvador. In wow. out in out San Salvador. Nice. In, like in, here. In, yes. Nails. nails. Yes. Cool. In, in wow. A spa, in the spa include. In the spa is included. Wow. Yeah. Okay. She, well, she, that's a good thing. She she have a uh, big big is, is the, what what the. the Bag, bag. Oh, okay. With her tools. She has a lot of tools. I'm going to write the word. Like tools, guys, la podemos utilizar para cualquier ambiente. So the word tool son como herramientas, right? If you are, for example, like working in the construction, so you have your tools. If you work in this area of beauty salon, so you need your tools like irons, like dryers, nail polishers, so they are tools. Lo que sea que se utiliza, they are tools, your tools. So I believe she has a bag with a lot of tools, with a lot of things in there. Interesting. Anybody else? Anybody else wants to share his or her um, business? Or not necessarily if you have it ready, but maybe for the future. So Brenda, Gladys, like, Sandra, do you have? Yeah? I would like to have a bar. I would like to have Mister. a bar. You would like to have a, I'm sorry, what? Bar, bar. 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 Oh, a bar. Yes. <laughs> like, a, like a pub. <laughs> okay. a, a, lot of people, a lot of people visit the, the, that place. Okay. 
So Marvin and Brian, they will Marvin. be Marvin. Marvin. No, <laughs> teacher. Teacher. Esa cliente. Esa va a ser la temática. Bar y barbería. <laughs> <risa> eh, compra, nene, compra, tu balde, nene. Com, compra tu balde y te, y te cortamos el pelo. Cortate el pelo y te ganas un balde. <risa> Eso es lo que a poner, René. That doesn't así, make sense, guys. Así llama, la cartina quiere poner. No. Wait. Teacher, it's believe, it's believe. Or maybe, I'm sorry. Es mentira oh. lo que ellos dicen. Oh, that's not. That's not. So that's ¿A qué no lo vamos a incluir a él? A él no lo vamos a incluir. Okay. So you already, they already have what, their what is the promotion? No. <laughs> you Fisher, can talk about it later, y te, y te damos un balde no. nacional. Okay. Now, no, René. Now, René, because this is like the, the moment for you to advertise your brother. Let's do it in English. How would you present it? Cook, cook your no. hair in... The, the free um, bottle, the free ba bottle of beer. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. Basket. Yeah, Basket. No, more, no more questions about it. <laughs> no, I, I think it's fine to have an idea, right? As long as, um, and it's important to have it. That, that's the way, you know, we start sometimes. I like it, I like, a lot, I like it a lot. Hello? Uh, 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 I think, uh, my good approval is a bit uh, angus. Uh, could you repeat that, please? Uh, my, for me, I think a good approval is a bit angus. What do no you mean? Si lo digo bien. A bit angus. Like es ambitious? Como, es como carne, meat, meat. Oh, so your product is meat. But you mean like like a restaurant or just beef? A restaurant. Okay. But is it an idea or have you started or ya comenzó? No, 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 no. It's In the idea. Future. So you can, but okay. Well, but you can have it in the future. That sounds great. So this is the way, you know, we start. I want you to take a look at the following expressions because we are going to use it for the following activity. In, uh, in ball, we have what you need. For example, question number one is, what do you know what you need to have a good brother? So, tenemos esa expresión, what you need, lo que tú necesitas, right? Imagine guys, I tell you, hey, look, I am starting my new project Okay, I want to have, a, I love photography. So, quiero comenzar un estudio. I need to have, I want to have an studio. What do I need to do to start my studio? So, necesito que me ayuden con algunas recomendaciones usando esta expresión, what you need. Do you need to uh, have a good camera? Okay, so what you need is a good camera. Let's use what, what you need. ¿Qué más necesito? What do I need? Do you need a print? What I need is? A printer. A printer, okay. Okay, what is, <laughs> what do I need, guys? So what I need a camera, need? a printer, Ricardo? What you need to have a good sell, selling. Oh, okay. Like me, como lo voy a vender, right? The way I'm going to sell it. Yes. Okay, no I like it. I like it. Como la publicidad and everything, marketing yes. and all those selling, things. I selling, like it. Sell, sell is better. Selling. A good sales. Podemos sell. usar la palabra sales. Sell. Mm -hmm. Sales. I'm going to write it down. Okay. Anything else? What do I need, guys? So what you need is sales. What I need is to be a good photographer. <laughs> okay, because if I am not a good photographer, I will not have clients or customers. <laughs> you need, I need a new need, cell phone. Uh, you need reflectors. Okay, Sonia says I need reflectors. Uh, Anna, what do I need? I need a new cell phone. <laughs> oh, I need a new cell phone. Probably a cell phone or a camera, right? Whatever will work. Okay, now let's take a look at the other one. It says, that's a good question. I think that what I would do, 
¿cómo voy a utilizar what I would do? Pónganse en mi lugar, ¿ya? Yeah. ¿Qué es lo que yo haría? What I would do. So, guys, imagine that it's not me, but it's you who wants to start the studio, okay? What would you do? ¿Qué harían? Utilicemos what I would do. What I would do is, utilicemos hasta acá. What I would what, do is, what, is, what do, I, what I what would I, do, what I would do, would do a uh, student a uh, English. Okay, a place just for English. Uh huh. Remember that is like a studio, like a photography studio. What I would do is. What I would do is. Uh, online. Oh, I'm sorry. Se me está quebrando un poquito. What I would do is. Photography online. Online. Okay. I like it. For example. Uh, what is it? Uh, do, do you have a diplomado in, in okay. photography, in uh, uh, diseños? Oh, like to teach, like to uh -huh. teach online. Oh, uh -huh. got it. Okay, sounds very interesting. Very good. I like that. Anybody else? ¿Qué harían si fueran ustedes las del estudio? What I would do is. Anybody? Anybody? Tengo alguien de marketing? Is anybody hearing marketing, guys? <laughs> So marketing girls and boys have like, you know, very quick ideas. Nobody's for marketing? Wait, Brenda, aren't you in marketing? No, no. teacher. No, I, I had the idea. I don't know why that you were in marketing. Sonia, are you in marketing? Mabel, no. I'm sorry. No, Sonia, <laughs> está bien. Sonia, está bien. Uh, what, no, what I do am... Uh, operation area. Oh, okay. So you are like in manufacturing? Mm, service. Service. Okay. Yes. Okay. I see. In uh, Adria del Salvador. Oh, With so Brian electricity, and right? Marvin. <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's why. I remember I saw the company somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Good, but Brian isn't your boss, right? Ah, sí, él es mi jefe. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay. And I, I didn't know, I was just kidding, you know, but okay, thanks for the information. <laughs> okay. So, uh, no, I'm going to call him because I already told him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. So no, nobody's in marketing, unfortunately, but I am sure uh, that you have really good ideas. Yes. Create, uh, create uh, a web page. Oh, I like it. Yes. Mm. To create a web page or to go just in, you know, all over social me media, right? Yes. Here we have two more expressions. The other one says what I'm saying. Guys, cuando utilizamos what I'm saying, the person asks, what do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? What do you mean? All right. What I'm saying is, cuando utilizo what I'm saying, what do I mean by that? What I'm saying is that your product has to be the best in the market. Somos what I'm saying solo para clarificar algo. Because the person asks, what do you mean? ¿Qué quieres decir? Okay, what do you mean by that? What I'm saying, lo que digo, lo que quiero explicar es, right? So what I'm saying is, we use it for clarification. And the last one says, what my friend did was. Cuando usted quiere decir un ejemplo. Oh, uno de mis amigos tiene un estudio, you know, de fotografía. What my friend did was. He started in Facebook. He started in Instagram. Yeah, so what my friend did was. Guys, let's go ahead and let's practice the following part. Give me just a second. 
hold on. Give me one minute here. And uh, da, da, da. let me present this part over to you. Okay. So here we go. Okay, vamos a, a completar un par de ejercicios with grammar and then we will get started and practice this as much as possible. So, what classes are often the subject of verb to be? And that can be followed by a phrase. So, ¿cuáles son algunos ejemplos? What you need is. What my friend did was. What I would do is. Después de estas expresiones, yo utilizo el verbo to be. What I'm saying is. And if you check it out, we have the examples right here. What you need is to have a great brother. What my friend did was get fresh ingredients. What I would do is sell my brother. What I'm saying is that it is not an easy task. So, utilizamos las w, eh, las what clauses junto con el verbo to be, you know, depende de lo que queramos decir. But I normally me ayudan para clarificar, to give examples, etc. So let's go ahead and practice. Select the best expressions from the table in section 4 to complete the sentences. Tenemos cuatro ejercicios here y tenemos four expressions on top. Vamos a utilizar the one that is the best for this scenario. So I will give you two minutes to complete it. Okay, look for the correct expression. Only one, one each. One each, guys.
Okay, guys. So, oopsie. Okay, let's take a look at the questions we have right there. So, let's take a look. Number one, my best friend just opened his own shop and uh, was open it. One second. Was open it in a good morning. What can we use in number one? What my, my friend did. Mm hmm. Okay, what my friend did was open it in a good morning. All right, perfect. I think that fits. Um, otra posibilidad? Is there another possibility? Possibility? What I would? What I would do was open it in a good morning. What I would do? Mm -hmm. It could be, you know, it could make sense as well. What I would do was open it in a good mood. Yes, sir. So, look, I would do implica como algo en presente. Mm, yes, Richard? Um, question. Um, eh, la question number one, no, number one, mm -hmm. eh, a verbo to be, what's where? Yes. Number one, my best friend just opened yes. his own shop. Was was a, a bear, uh, was and where yes. Mm, what do you mean? A qué se refiere, Richard? Es es que te que. Vaya, eh, my dice what my friend did was. Mm -hmm. Entonces esa was. era la esa era la 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 la, la oración anterior, vaya por decirlo así, la que estábamos revisando. Mm -hmm. Entonces siempre esta oración uh, va a terminar en el was and where. O va a cambiar. Oh, got it, got it. Ya le comprendí. Yes. Yes. Oh, chicos, alguien creo que me dejó abierto el micrófono. Thank you. Sí, ya no escucho eso. All right. Um, creo que la pregunta de Richard va porque si le ponemos acá el pedacito que nos hace falta, let me present it here. I think I got your question. That would be like, what my friend did. Y inmediatamente después del did, tenemos un was. What my friend did was. So I think that Richard's question is, entonces después de esta expresión, yo puedo utilizar was or were. Uh, Richard, ¿me confirmas si esa es la pregunta? Yes, yes. Siempre va a terminar eh, con ese, was or were. No necesariamente, no necesariamente. Oh. Um, well, first, todo, todo depende de what you're saying here. Por ejemplo, yeah. si yo lo cambio y digo what my friend is doing, lo que él está haciendo, ya oh. cambió totalmente la idea. Okay, um, sí. What my friend is doing is, entonces yes. el verbo to be ahora lo utilizo en presente. Um, okay. No puedo utilizar where en este ejemplo. Este was no puede ser where, porque yo digo what my friend. Solo hablo de uno, lo cual sería was. Pero ah. sí puedo decir, por ejemplo, what my friends Ah, cuando did. llega la, la S sí puede cambiar a where. Entonces tendría ah, okay. que ser, tendría obligatoriamente yes. que ser where porque son plurales. Ya, yeah, yes. but yeah. Ah, okay, exactly. Okay, okay. Existe la posibilidad, pero no obligatoriamente solo es was or where. Puede ser también en presente, puede ser en futuro, todo depende de su contexto. But yes, this, that is the issue. Uh -huh. um, uh, eh, y si no estuviera friend, podría, podríamos poner alguna otra palabra que termine con ese y igual que, que lleve, obvio, que lleve la S al final, siempre sería where, ¿verdad? Cuando esté hablando de más. Mm. Ok, creo que I think I got you. Por ejemplo, imagínense que esto lo, hizo, lo hicieron mis papás y yo digo yes, lo yes, que mis papás yes. hicieron. Ok, yes. so what, um, what my parents, what my parents did, eh, como son parents, ya como son dos, ya no puedo utilizar was. Tendría que hacer el cambio a word. What my okay. parents did, oh, but you know what? No, aún así, Richard, no, 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 never mind, forget it. Aún así no lo puedo modificar. Tiene que ser siempre ah, was. Okay. Porque no hablo de mis okay. papás. Hablo de, de la actividad, you know. Yeah, it wouldn't ah, make okay. sense. No tendría sentido. Listen, Sorry. Listen. Mm -hmm. That would be was. Okay, guys. Number two. Many people want to start their own business. And then it's lots of information. What do you have in number two? 
many people going to start their business and then what do you need so what you need what you need is lots of information okay okay what you need that makes sense that makes sense what about number three what do you have in number three I don't know when, where she has to start. What, what I would do? What I would do. Lo que yo haría, right? Uh -huh. So what I would do, what I would do, take a look. What I would do is to promote the products online. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, good. And number four, people don't buy new products because they cannot. So what can we use in number four? What I am saying. Exactly. What I'm saying. So what I'm saying is there is no demand. Remember that the expression, what I'm saying is como clarificando, right? Giving some information or like an explanation. People don't buy new products because they cannot. Oh, what I'm saying, a lo que me refiero es, what I'm saying is there is no demand. And that's it. Very good, guys. Good, 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 good. good. Preguntas con las WH expressions? Preguntas con esas expresiones? Uh -huh. No. Oh, yes. yes. En la uno yo tengo, yo tenía what I will do. Mm -hmm. eh. Oh, y dejé what my parents. Wait. <laughs> what my friend. Okay. So just say this one. This one. In number one. In number one. So let's take a look. My best friend just opened. So my best friend just opened his own shop. What I would do was open it in a good mall. You know, lo que sucede es esto. La expresión what I would do es como que implica algo en presente, lo que yo haría. Algo que no es real, pero sí involucra presente. So um, I would say... Como planes. planes. Es como si yo me pongo en sus si zapatos, right? Zapatos, right? Okay. 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 Imagination. Mm -hmm. Imagination. Okay. Esa es la idea de what I would do, lo que yo haría. Cuando, como cuando usted dice, ah, no sé, pero lo que yo haría, en tu caso, lo que yo haría si fuera tú, you know? So, eso es what I would do. Um, so, tiene un poquito más de sentido la primera, what my friend did was. Porque estamos hablando siempre de, you know, my best friend just opened his own shop. Lo que, mi, lo que mi amigo hizo fue eso. So, I, I would say that makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Guys, vamos a practicar un poquito. Hello. Sorry, sorry, teacher, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> De repente escuché like someone screaming. And I say what happened. Okay, no worries. Uh, guys, son las nueve. You know, voy a pasar el segundo control de asistencia just to make sure you know, um, I got everybody's attendance. If you can help me, please. Me hacía falta Brian. So, no sé si Brian ya despertó. Brian, are you around? Brian is not here. Oh, my God. So, lo escuché decir, like, the, the barber shop. <laughs> and that's it. Okay. Carlos? Brian, Brian thinking at barber shop right now. So he's working at the barbershop. Carlos, are you Sorry, around? Sorry, it's a piano. Oh, hello. Thank you. Ya va cerrando la barbería, ya. Yeah, what I do. Okay, I'm missing. Let me see. Me falta Anthony. Missing Jackie. Marvin Bonilla. Marvin, ya estamos acá, right? Solo me regalé confirmación. I be here right now. En Marvin López. Acabo de ver a Marvin, but... It's me, teacher. It's me. I am Marvin. 
No, but I got the other Marvin too. <laughs> okay, creo que le falló el internet. Just he was here some seconds ago. Okay, thank you though. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and let's move on. So, doo -doo -doo, let me present my screen right Okay, guys, so this is what we will be doing. Vamos a hablar un poquito sobre this topic that is very interesting because those are just the ideas we have. And tenemos estas tres preguntitas. Well, dos, actually. Number one says, think about your new business. Vamos a pensar en cualquier negocio que ustedes quieran abrir. It doesn't matter si es pequeño, if it's big, it doesn't really matter. Puede ser, no sé, una venta de plantas, for example, something very small. Any idea is welcome, right? Cualquier idea que tengan es bienvenida. Uh, what products would you offer? ¿Qué productos ofrecen, guys? What products would you offer, all right? And how would you increase your sales if you start a small business? Si fueran comenzando, if you are just starting this very small business, what would you do? Vamos a usar las expresiones que acabamos de ver. What I would do is, what I need is, etc. Para hablar de nuestro negocio. Vamos a presentarlo como grupo. Yo voy a presentar as a group. And voy a seleccionar a una persona por cada grupo. To come and explain what this business is about. So I really appreciate if you can join the groups. Please unámonos, get there, um, compartan sus ideas, share your ideas, pónganse de acuerdo, and answer the two questions. Number one, ¿qué pueden ofrecer? Pónganle nombre si es posible, you know, you can create the name. So, the Fantastic Four, the whatever name comes to your mind, and then you talk about it. So, tenemos cinco minutitos, five, ten minutes to think about it, and then we come and present it. Let's go. Let's go, everybody.
Thanks guys for coming back. Vamos a esperar unos segundos for everybody to be back. And then we present what we have created so far. So the idea was to um, get in agreement, so que se pusieran de acuerdo, that you socialize, that you talked, that you discussed, and then we present this idea, right? It doesn't matter if it is only an idea, it doesn't matter if it is big, if it is small, the idea is to have it, you know, and, and who knows? Maybe next month, alguien nos dice, teacher, comencé mi negocio, I started my business, which would be amazing. So, um, okay, I'd like to listen to some of your ideas. Let me just make sure everybody is back. And I got group number one. So group number one is, uh, oh, I got Ignacio, I have Marvin, oh, uh, Alex, usted ya no es oyente. <laughs> so you're not anymore. Alex, Alex, where are you? Marvin Alexander. Alexander Bonilla. Marvin, um, I don't know if you can listen to me. I guess, I hope so. So, le voy a cambiar el, el nombre. I'm going to change your name. Okay, guys, so group number one, escogieron del grupo uno, I see eh, Pedrina, I see Mabel, and I see René. Guys, who is going to present group number one? Group one. So, uh, guys... Did in you my group, choose? Yeah, in my group, the studio, in, or I pick? In my group, select the typical food in the restaurant. Okay. And uh, we offer the different kind of food, for example, pupusas, uh, chocolate, coffee, and potato, the different kind of food, the, the Salvador, Salvadorian food. And for example, for... I, I will pro, pro, promote our product in, in, on internet and, and we can a different, we have a, we have a different uh, offer. For example, if you buy a, a some product, you can get a, I said, like a discount. Eh, discount es, es eh, rebaja. Descuento. Oh, yes, una rifa. Uh, you, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, get, get can a, a refund. For example, if you buy a pupusas. A, a, a discount, give... I think. Un, un descuento, right? A discount. Yes. Discount, okay, yes. Discount, yes. Mm -hmm. and, and we have a, oh. a, a service. A, uh, deliver the deliver service. If you live in the in in the central zone San Salvador, mm -hmm. that's it. Wow, I like it. I like it a lot. Very nice. I like the presentation. I like the idea. And you know, pupusas are never old. <laughs> that yeah. is not like a type of business that gets old. I like it. Thank you, Rene, for helping us with the description. I love it. That is very nice. Uh, so I am going to give you some emojis here. Guys, remember, we don't have claps, pero pueden darle emojis. That was a very good description. Thank you. Group two, that's Magna, Carlos, Richard, and Sandra. I am going to pick Sandra. Hello. Sandrita, help us, please. Hello. Hello. Teacher. Sandrita, are you around? Está por ahí? Hello, Miss. Hello. Are you ready, Miss? Está lista? Yes, teacher. 
Yeah, amazing, amazing. So let's go for it. Tell us about your product, please. Um, a delicious burger restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, what you need, a central um, clean place. Okay. What would I do? Make a delicious, unique hamburger at low cost. What I'm saying, make myself know and create a unique uh, restaurant. Mm, what my friend did was um, support me to expand adversing by other friends. All right, so you mentioned a hamburger, Just right? Yes. Like a hamburger restaurant, okay. So, all right, I like it. And the idea of expansion actually sounds very nice. Thank you very much for using those expressions, like why my, what my friend did was, what I would do. I like it a lot, a very good description. Thank you guys, that sounds amazing. Thanks a lot for that. Let me go with group number three. So that is Anna, Natalie, Ingrid, eh, Clary, and Moses. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to take, yeah, Moses, I'm going to take you. So tell us a little bit about your, your business. Moses' business is very interesting because he, ha he has some experience in the area. So tell us about it, please. Okay, the first question is, think about your new business. My new business will be a car accessory store. And what product will you offer? We'll offer racing products for vehicles. And how will you increase your sales? I will have a good quality products and the newest for cars. Um, it will be my promoter, my products online for us. Uh, tell us a little bit about your, your experience, your personal experience, please. Yes. Is my uh, personal experience for six months in un emprendimiento for six meses. So you started your business some time ago, and um, and that was for six months. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, tell us about how you um, advertise your product. Like how you um, contacted customers, how they contacted you. Yes, uh, the contact with my uh, for WhatsApp and redes sociales. Uh, Already, so that is amazing. Thank you very much, Moses, and thanks a lot for sharing that. Uh, so you see, Moses had this idea and he started his idea some time. Now he says he is waiting. <laughs> so, but that is amazing. I mean, six months, that's a lot of time. And the most important thing is that Moses vendió. So he sold. <laughs> so he sold some products. That is great. Thank you, Moses. That is amazing. I like your idea a lot as well. Um, I have just one more group, the last but not the least. So that is Brian, Lupita, Jocelyn, and Norbert. Um, guys, alguien quiere pasar de ustedes, or do I pick? Always cojo, do I choose? Uh, me, teacher. Uh, yes, Norbert, go ahead. This night is a uh, computer center. Uh, the night is um, technology, the technology, the future. Um, uh, 
for example, um, in, in what product were your offers? Um, we uh, sells sells uh, sells papers. The um, sells the inks for a uh, for printer. Um, video video gauge. Um, um and next question and uh, how were your crazy yourselves um with uh, use um social red um, social red and also to put a discount offer. Uh, okay, so on... products with 5% off, 10% off, okay. Amazing, no, I like it. I like it, Norbert, that was great. Okay. I like the way you presented that. I like your idea, that sounds nice. So thanks a lot for that. And very good explanation, yeah. Your English is improving, amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, guys. So that is very important. Um, Norbert said, okay, so he would have some products with discounts. So that is very important. And I'm going to share just two more words that are things are necessary for this topic. One of them is promote. Like when I say, voy a promover ese producto, I'm going to promote this product, right? Um, Podemos usar otras palabras como boost, motivate, todo depende del contexto, pero también la palabra promote nos ayuda como para no promocionar, sino promover, right? Like to have people know about your product. And okay. also, tenemos esta otra palabrita that we can use as well, that is social media. Social media es para todas las redes sociales, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, ¿qué, ¿Qué más hay? Okay. <laughs> yes, yes, Teacher. we're being... Uh, social media is a uh, community manager. Um, no, community manager normalmente es el empleo. Uh, community manager is the person who, porque es el manager, is the person who checks and organizes your website. Por ejemplo, I have my business, no tengo tiempo para revisar la página de Facebook, but, o oh, que me posté en Facebook, pero tengo mi community manager. So, esa persona se encarga de responder, check, post, everything. Social media es el nombre general. Uh -huh. Social media se refiere a todos los, los, the applications, you know, for example, Facebook, Instagram, Instagram. Uh -huh, eh, WhatsApp, you know, and all of them. So, es como en general, social network or social media. Se conoce mejor como social media. Cuando queremos oh. hablar de las redes sociales, right? That social media. Mm -hmm. So we can use those words as well. Okay, Already, okay. I like it. I like it. That was very good. I like it a lot. Okay, guys. So we already um, thought. Ya pensamos un poquito. Ya nos pusimos creativos talking about your business and how you would increase the sales in your business. Now it's our time para hacer the following. We are going to talk today as much as possible. So the next activity is individually. And it says, prepare a two minute presentation. No lo vamos a hacer de dos minutos porque los quiero escuchar a tantos, you know, a todos de ser posible. So we are going to make it one minute. Prepare a one minute presentation about your product, about a product from your company. Guys, Yo sé que algunos no ofrecen productos, sino que ofrecen servicios. It's okay. Talk about the services that your company offers. Introduce important information about this product using what clauses. So, ¿cómo lo voy a hacer? In the part that is below, tengo un par de expresiones that can help us talk about it. For example, uh, hello everybody, good evening everybody, my name is Julia. I work for English Corporativo. Uh, my company offers English classes for everybody who is 
in a public or private company, what they do is to contact companies to uh, bring students to our classes and they explain about how the process works. Um, they, um, students or, you know, they get a scholarship, they have to connect to classes and get better and get more opportunities. Yes, it's so, you know, <laughs> that's it. So, algunas de las expresiones que podemos usar son estas, what they do, what the company does, what I would do, what my company did, etc. So to talk about your company. Pueden hablar de un producto específico or you can talk about um, services. Que tipo de servicio your company offers, right? Um, tenemos varios de algunas empresas repetidas, así que I'm going to select only one person por empresa, you know, per company to make it nicer. Guys, esta actividad va a tener tiempo. That means, si usted es el lucky one de ahora, Tiene un minutito reloj, okay? So, si se les acaban las ideas, if you don't know what to say, no se puede quedar callado. <laughs> you sure. cannot be quiet. Entonces, hable del clima, talk about other things, pero talk, okay? Yes, Norbert. Este, uh, vamos a hablar de, de, de nuestra compañía o mm -hmm. nuestro yes. lugar de trabajo, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's one, solo es un minutito. One minute, talk about a product. Uh, puede hablar, por ejemplo, si su empresa vende algún tipo de producto, hable de uno en específico, de qué se trata, what the product is about. Um, si su empresa ofrece un servicio, de qué tipo que sea, explíquenos de qué se trata el servicio. Al menos okay. una expresión de what clauses sería perfecto. That would be amazing. Ok, thank you, Miss. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, guys, as I mentioned, si se les quedan sin ideas, you don't know what to say, y todavía tienen tiempo, utilicemos fillers. Por ejemplo, ¿cuáles son algunos fillers? Podemos usar, you know, po podemos usar, let me think, la idea es que no, no se pueden quedar callados. So you cannot be quiet. Tienen que seguir hablando. Aunque no tenga sentido, it doesn't matter, but try to keep on talking. Let me think. Um, um, I don't know. I am not sure um, that is a difficult topic, that is so difficult to think, I don't know, but siempre difficult, pero siempre digamos algo, always try to say uh, something, okay, uh, the idea is not to be quiet, no se queden calladitos, you know, try to say something. Esas son de las expresiones más comunes, like, you know, uh, let me think, let me think about it. I'm not sure, I don't know what to say. Um, that is so difficult to explain. I'm not sure what to say. Como no sé qué más decir, right? I don't know what to say. So always try to use expressions like those. Um, van a sonar mucho más fluidos, van a seguir hablando, you know, y no necesitan como a lot of vocabulary to talk about it. So guys, Tenemos cinco minutitos. I will give you only five minutes para que puedan prepararla. La pueden escribir. You can write it down. La idea no es que la lean, no es que se la memoricen, solo que hablen. You know, lo mismo que han estado haciendo. The same thing. But ahora es su empresa. Now about your company. You have five minutes. Si necesitan ayuda with some vocabulary or anything, uh, you can ask me. Y si no lo sé, lo revisamos juntos, you know, over internet, etc. But no worries.
two more minutes. Is everybody ready? Do you need more time? ¿Cómo, están? ¿Cómo les está yendo, guys? Ready, ready? Almost ready? A little, a little, teacher. A little good. <laughs> okay, a little ready. <laughs> a little good. Okay, um, so, ¿están listos? Is everybody ready? Do you have your little presentation now? Do you need one minute to practice? Or as Richard says, al mal paso darle prisa. <laughs> so I remember Richard's expression. But Richard, yes, is teacher. A yes, paso. teacher. This is a good one, not a bad one. <laughs> okay, yes, guys. Teacher. So listen up. Vamos a hacerlo con tiempo. We are going to time this activity. Eso significa that eh, voy a cronometrarlas. You will have only one minute to talk about the product hasta donde lleguen, right? But si les hace falta tiempo, entonces sí. Invéntense algo más, you know, make it up. Try to keep on going. So talk about something else, it, it, you know, but the idea is to, to keep on, on talking. Uh, volunteers, do I have any volunteer? Hi, teacher. Yay! Yes, yes, yes. Amazing, Richard. So, <laughs> no, it's not about when. So, but in a minute, you will have only one minute. Oh, I'm going to time it. Y cuando el tiempo termine, I will let you know. Yo le aviso. Okay. Well, va a escuchar aquí el sonido. Okay. One, two, three. Go. Uh, welcome to do, to don a mustache. Uh, good, good evening. Uh, my name is uh, Ricardo. Uh, of uh, of restaurant offer uh, you or food a uh, dish fish fish uh, fish in screen salt uh, home and roast beef 
um, bread and chicken, uh, mariscada, uh, you drink, and a uh, hot, a uh, cold. Uh, we do you greet uh, your mustache here. Uh, thank you. Um, because a uh, delicious uh, food. Time is over. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Richard. That was good. Okay. I just have a question for you. You were talking about a restaurant, but I remember you worked in a different place. <laughs> so I'm like, did you move? Or you're talking about your new Thai, Thai restaurant? A decent. So, uh, are you talking about like your new um, entrepreneurship, como el nuevo emprendimiento, or eh, did you move? Se cambió eh, de empresa. Yeah, no, 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 no. Eh, me llama la atención. Attention. No, oh, no. Okay. Yes. it called your attention. It calls yes. your attention. Okay. No, but I mean, you did it nicely. Solo no se esperaba que, que nos hablara de algún producto de carros. <laughs> I, I was, I was no, hoping you yeah, talk yeah, about yeah, yeah, cars, yeah, mucho, kids. Yeah, 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 so yeah, no, yeah, yeah, me aburrió okay. eso. No, that was good. That was a really good one. Thank you. Richard, uh, the next person is in your head. No. Dígame un nombre. Give me a name. <laughs> no, teacher. No me voy a llevar a cargo de conciencia. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so give me a, a number then. One, two. Oh, just leave. Ahí está, ya ve, ya ve. She saved by you the bell. You can do it. Yeah. So, Jocelyn, let's go ahead. Tiene un minutito to talk about your company. One, two, three, go. Hello, everyone. My name is Jocelyn. I work at a computer center, Technology the Future. Uh, my company offers the next generation printer. Uh, some models are Konica 420. Uh, it is a black printer. And Konica 365, it is a full color printer. And in this moment, we have a super offers. Uh, if you buy the printer full color, takes uh, the printer black for um, the half price. Um, the printer is a very good, uh, it's a, is a, would you like to buy a product? Time is over. <laughs> you did it, yes. <laughs> In the last second, I saw you like, oh my God, oh my God, amazing. <laughs> I like the description. I like how how fluent you sound. Very good. And I saw that you included like more details. That was very nice. Suddenly, I just saw Norberto, you know, eh, los ojos de Norberto se, se iluminaron when you said printer. I don't know why, but yeah. I saw him like, what? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, I don't know, for some reason, eres como mi pantallita, I have Norbert, I have you. Y lo vi como despertar. What? <laughs> <laughs> so that sounds great. Norbert, you can be the next person. So let's talk about it. Um, you have a minute? Okay. So, ready? Okay, teacher. Uh, hello. Uh, every Jones, uh, my name is Joseph Norbert. Uh, I am lead in Paraiso de Osorio. I am working in Cooperative. Uh, Copadeo de RL. Uh, my company offers a credit service, um, saving accounts, uh, which brings, which brings uh, in San Salvador, Tepeque, San Martín, Ilomasco, uh, Zacatecoluca, San Miguel de Pesontes, and central office in, in Paradise de Osorio. Department La Paz, a number contacts, or con, contacts number is 2343 uh, 
Two nights. Times over. <laughs> Times over, Norbert. Excellent job. I like it. I like that you continue talking. And creo que por eso agregó los números. But that was a very nice Richard, idea. Richard, so you keep on going. Yes, yes. Good. Alex? Eh, ahora yo, ahora yo. Okay, amazing. Yeah, of course. So you have a minute. And uh, si alguien más quiere ser Eso. voluntario, get ready, okay? So one, two, three, go, Alex. Hello, hello, everyone. My name is Marvin Herrera. The offer of my company is the assistant service of the moment for you have. You can call with you ever only along me call me. Ever I do need me. I been I been in me, I be here. Alone. I finish. Continue, continue. Tiene 30 uh, segundos. Continue. For my offer is um assistant for uh I may have curva speech. continue. Hablenos de que hace every day, routine, anything, but just continue. Uh, Keep on going. My offer, my, my offer is I impress in the insurance company. For your help in the accident, mm -hmm. uh, I will go to you. Do you? Uh, do, do you? No sé cómo donde tú estés. Where you no are? Sé, where you are? Mm -hmm. este, where you are? I'll be here. Okay, time is Everybody. over. Time is over, Marvin. Yeah, you made it. <laughs> very good. Very good. How do you feel? <laughs> Okay, I think you were like freak out. <laughs> no, que más lento. no, 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 más lento, no, lo dijo super bien, solo tenía que, you know, inventarse más. <laughs> no, but lo hizo super bien. You did it nicely. Compensó, you know. Uh, at the end, encontró la forma like to, to make it work. So, very good job. Guys, tenemos tiempo para una persona más. I don't know if I have any volunteer. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, amazing Guadalupe. Let's listen to you. Un minutito. One, two, and three. Go. Okay. Hello, everybody. My name is Guadalupe Lopez. I work in Hamburg. Mm -hmm. uh, we are around the <coughs> 300 employees. Uh, my company factory clothes for children uh, made to hand and my machine too. Are uh, all all our, uh, the clothes is for sport to use to USA. Uh, we had six, six clients. Um, the company has to uh, twenty years. Uh, we we work for season, uh, spring, summer, and for winter. Uh, we sell a full package. Uh, it includes the fabric button uh, and all the accessories. Time is over. Amazing. I like it a lot. I like the vocabulary you used. Oh my God. Creo que hubiera llegado a los dos minutos, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think you were able to make it up to two minutes. Wow, I like it a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm super happy. Um, unfortunately, uh, por el tiempo es bastante difícil escuchar sure. a los 21, but I really hope, you know, we can split it y escuchar al resto later. Ignacio, tell me. Uh, I want to participate. Okay, let me see. It's, it's we possible. got 57. I think we do have one minute for you. No worries. One minute. Yeah, one minute. It's only one minute. It's only one minute talk, you know, because of the time as well. Ready, Ignacio? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Let's go for it. Yes. Okay. Ready? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, there. <laughs> Good evening, dear classmates. In our company, we are dedicated to construction of deep well for drinking water, you know. Um, for, for industry and agriculture, we have the machinery and the, and the ideal, ideal technical stuff. 
our success is based on the use of good quality material and experience in groundwater. Only, only teach. You have 20 seconds, Finish. continue. <laughs> 20 seconds, keep it going, keep it going, continue. Inventase un poquito más, a little more. Okay, our, our, our success, okay, okay, our success is based on the use of good, good quality material in the experience is over. in the world. <laughs> if you is are over. interested, you can. <laughs> can Sorry, can, time is over now. Uh, Thank you, Ignacio. Thanks a lot. That was really nice. I like your, I like the use of vocabulary you had at the beginning, porque era vocabulario bien técnico. So I like the way you introduced the topic very technically. Guys, get ready. You know, um, we couldn't listen to you today, pero no significa que no les vayamos a escuchar tomorrow or any other day. Ya había Brenda like, uff. <laughs> no, Brenda. <laughs> Hopefully we will listen to you tomorrow. Brenda se va a sacrificar para mañana, dice. No, guys, you know, I like it. Vamos a intentar mañana escuchar, you know, different voices, different people, because de eso se trata. Like, everybody can have the opportunity to participate. Um, antes de irnos, guys, les voy a pasar asistencia. Algunos, um, solo me regala presente, please. Just give me a present. Me ayudan con su camarita, you know, as you always do. And I have Anna. Present teacher. Brenda. Present. Brian. Present. I saw I'm Brian. Here. <laughs> Carlos. Present teacher. Hey, Carlos. Glad to listen to you. Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you. Natalie. Present. Thank you. Jackie. Jocelyn. Present. Thank you, Ignacio. I know Ignacio is right there. Uh, Norbert? Present, Miss. Mr. Bonilla? Present, teacher. Marvin Lopez? Teacher, I am Mr. Bonilla. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Um, okay, creo que escuché Ignacio there. Clary? Clary, Clary. Hello, Miss. I am there here. you go. Oh, Miss, I'm sorry. Yeah. I listen to your voice and I'm like, oh, <laughs> Moses. Hey, yes. <laughs> I know. Thank you, Pedrina. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mañana, Pedrina. You know, <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> okay, I like it. René. Present, present. Gracias, René. Por ahí vi que estaba afuera. Le agradezco enormemente por siempre unirse. Eh, Abigail, Sandra. Present, teacher. Thank you, Sandrita. Uh, Mabel? Present. And there we go. Amazing. Okay, everybody. So, thanks a lot for your attendance. Nos vemos el día de mañana. Please, me confirma si todos tienen acceso en la plataforma. Solo escríbame, I have access or something. Carlos, eh, me regalo un par de minutitos, por favor. Los demás, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow. See you, see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye, guys. See you. See you. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hi, Carlos. Regáleme unos minutos. Solo déjeme okay. limpiar acá. Ahí está. Carlos, tenemos sesión one on one. Así que, sorry, okay. le voy a robar acá un par de minutitos solamente. Okay. Eh, primero, le quería consultar de la plataforma. Ya confirmó si tiene acceso. Cuéntame, quiero ver. Porfa. No, hasta el módulo 4 lo tengo, fíjese. Vale, si no, denme un segundito, ahorita les reviso. Cause, déjenme ver, déjenme ver. Porque sí me parece registrado. Recibí el correo, ¿verdad? Recibí el correo. Sí. Ok. Sí. Ok, ok, ok. Déjenme ver. Should be here. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo ha estado, Carlos? 
pues bien, ocupado, bien, bien, dice. Cargado de trabajo. Me imagino. I imagine so. I imagine. Pero gracias por, por conectarse. Thanks a lot for, you know, por siempre estar super on time. Carlos, Carlos, Marvin. Uy, Carlos, no me aparece. It doesn't appear here. Ok, al momento que recibió el correo, hay un link que le dice sí. de la plataforma. Le dio clic sí. en el link. Y le di clic en el link, deposité el, el link que es que me mandó a la página. Porque uh -huh. ya había este, guardado un enlace, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Y lo borré para meterme directamente del correo. Pero uh -huh. no me aparece tampoco, llego hasta el módulo 4. Tampoco le funciona ese link. No. Ok, um, déjeme ver. Because entiendo que ahora le mandaron un par de indicaciones. Solo let me just make sure que no es nada de esto. Ok, let me check it out. Yo ya tengo acceso. Ok, Sandrita ya tiene acceso. Allow me one second. Vaya. Le voy a compartir. Compártame. Vaya, mire, aquí está el correo de, de Jimmy, va. Uh -huh. O sea, aquí está el enlace, el enlace de la plataforma. Uh -huh. Le doy clic en el enlace. Uh -huh. eh, no sé si sigue viendo. Sí, 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 sí. En sign in. Sign. Ve. Principiante módulo 4. 4. It's not Oh, sí, quizás ellos no se lo activan. Entonces, sí, yo, yo borré. Aquí tengo este. Este, y en la... este es el nuevo. Mm. El del módulo 5, digamos así, va. Uh -huh. Y en la parte, ¿y sobre su nombre? Dale clic sobre su nombre, por favor. Vaya. Dale clic en Dashboard. Dashboard. Vale. En, en Cursos. A, a la par de su nombre, donde dice Cursos. No. No, no, no. no. Vaya. Solo déjeme confirmar porque como a veces hay alguna actualización, right? So... Sí, pero creo que no. Ok. Sí, sí, al parecer no. Eh, vale, le voy a comentar a Jimmy que de la situación que, que tiene con su cuenta. Igual usted también, le, o no sé si me gusta, gusta de escribirle. Cualquiera de las dos formas, hoy, that's fine. Hoy en la tarde les escribí de que tenía problemas para entrar al módulo 5. Ah, yeah. eh, regáleme su nombre completo, Carlos. Carlos Alberto Bautista Bonilla. Eh, esperemos que mañana a primera hora eh, Jimmy no, nos pueda resolver, right? Para que ya lo tengamos activado y podamos trabajar con eso. Um, now, recuerdo que el módulo anterior eh, me comentaba que tenía algunas dificultades trabajando con gramática, right? Sí. So, ¿cómo, se siente, ¿Cómo se siente like now? ¿Todavía siente que grammar es una dificultad? Sí, fíjate, lo que pasa es que yo tengo un problema. Ok. Y es que no logro pensar en inglés. Tengo la dificultad que tengo que pensar primero en español para uh -huh. escribir en inglés. Y es okay. porque así me he acostumbrado. 
¿verdad? Pero no es algo malo, solo es algo que se puede modificar. Mm, let me think, ok. Es que el detalle es que cuando usted piensa en inglés, ya comienza a pensar en inglés, es porque digamos que ya subió un nivel. <risa> que ya que pasó de... Lo que pasa es que en mi trabajo a mí me cogieron para hacer los pagos de Alemania. Ok. Hace como seis años. Wow. Y yo okay. le dije a mi jefe, jefe, pero yo inglés no puedo mucho, más lo que me enseñaron en el instituto. No okay. importa, me dijo, ahí está San Google. Va, excelente. Mm -hmm. Entonces yo me acostumbré en primer grado a usar mucho Google Translator. Okay. Y a depender de eso. Poco a poco me fui memorizando las palabras que yo más usualmente usaba y con las que ellos me contestaban. Entonces mm -hmm. yo familiaricé algunas expresiones y algunas palabras. Algunas hey. son como calicheras, si le quiere llamar así, ¿verdad? En Porque otras palabras, usted, como usted ya se memorizó las expresiones, a mí ya, ya es como algo en automático, eh, la forma como responde, como escribe. X okay. persona de alemán. Okay. Pues, no, hay gente que solo escribe, eh, please say attach it. Mm. Eh, eso fue todo. Y uno ah. revisa el adjunto, ya. No hay mayor cosa que leer. Hay otros uh -huh. que escriben un poquito más, but could you please help me with this problem or, or this issue, this item, etc. But it's not a lot, so it's just Ajá. a little bit. Cabal, okay. entonces, ahí, de allí me, cuando pasó eso, me pusieron a aprender un poco inglés con un profesor okay. de la Universidad Nacional. Okay. Y entonces empecé a traducir hojas de seguridad en inglés de los químicos. Pero... Pero es como translation, Google Translation, siempre eh, estamos en la parte de translation. Sí, y siempre, uh -huh. y por eso a mí el leer, si usted lo nota, y el eh, dar significado me es fácil. Sí, de hecho tiene bastante vocabulario. And a lot of technical porque, vocabulary. Porque eso uh -huh. se me da, el leer, familiarizar palabras y cosas así, porque es lo que más hago en el trabajo. Uh -huh. Pero yo no, yo no creo oraciones. Ni uh -huh. tampoco hago conversaciones con gente de Estados Unidos. Todas uh -huh. las conversaciones que yo tengo en conferencia, las hago siempre a través de un ingeniero de procesos con la gente de Estados Unidos. O okay. sea, but, yo estoy but en just, reuniones, pero yo no participo activamente. But just a question. Uh, ¿Cómo está su listening? ¿Del 1 al 5? Al Como por el 3. Por ejemplo, la hace, en la última semana que usted puso un ejercicio... Estaba en la plataforma de una persona que estaba comprando blusas. Yeah. A mí me costó enormemente entenderle. Ok. Hubieron, mm -hmm. yo le digo que escuché el 50, 60% de, de todas las oraciones. Mm -hmm. Y no entendí muchas. Tuve mm -hmm. que pedir ayuda, le soy sincero. Okay. Entonces. No, en thank you, porque me da como un insight también. Ajá, okay. Entonces a mí el listening me cuesta porque yo estoy acostumbrado a leerlo y a escribirlo, no uh -huh. a interactuar con las personas. Sobre uh -huh. todo porque imagínense que yo hablo con gente de Japón en inglés. Okay. Pero yo ahorita ya me voy a dormir y ellos ahorita empezar a trabajar. Van. Entonces todo lo que yo les escribí en el día, ellos me lo contestan mañana. Hasta después. Y, um... yo no y entonces les contesto y así va la ruleta. Nunca tenemos okay. una interacción en vivo. I see, I see. Sí, porque de hecho uh, siento que sí se comunica, yo comunica your ideas, quizás solamente trabajarle un poquito de la, la pronunciación, pero me dice de listening, that you are like between one and three out of five. ¿Cómo sintió el ejercicio? ¿Sintió que le, le funcionó? Like, did it work? Sí, like, solo, ¿Escucharlo, escribirlo? Sí, solo que me dio un poquito de dolor de cabeza, pues, o sea. <ríe> Que lo escuché como unas 20 veces, me imagino. Sí, yo les sentí sí, like a lot of times. Cada okay. cinco segundos okay. la retrocedía. No, pero de eso se trata, you know, like, que ejercitemos, porque igual es, un, es algo de ejercitar. Vaya, voy a compartir un par de, de ejercicios en la plataforma similares, un poquito más cortos quizás. <ríe> I'm going to share some shorter. Y lo, fíjese que la persona que me ayudó es una persona que trabaja de compras internacionales. Porque okay. yo estoy en el rubro de materiales. Mi rubro es importación de químicos, el mío propio. 
¿Ves? Entonces yo interactúo con gente de otros países en relación a la compra de químicos. ¿Verdad? Y por eso es que yo hago traducciones de hojas de seguridad. Y las hojas de seguridad, usted me da una, yo se la leo y se la traduzco. Pero porque ya es algo que está prediseñado. Okay. Usted me dice, usted hágala. Ahí sí me voy a entretener un poco más porque empiezo a ver la gramática. Cuál, cuál vale, vamos a... Y todo eso. Sí, de hecho vamos a retomar los ejercicios adicionales esta semana en la plataforma. Eh, ahora que me, ya me da su insight, eh, well, le voy a incluir un poquito más de, de writing también, que ustedes empiecen a escribir párrafos, porque eso es muy importante. Y de hecho tengo una actividad que es, de, de, es un video <risa> que van a subir. Así que, um, I, hope, I hope eso nos puede dar como más input. Y, uh, you know, cualquier cosa, si necesitan más ejercicios, let me know. Y así se los estoy posteando, you know, le puedo compartir un par de ejercicios adicionales. Vamos a probar esta semana, a ver cómo nos va con la plataforma. Eh, voy a compartirles mañana, les voy a actualizar todos los ejercicios para que ustedes ya los hagan como en su tiempo libre. Ok, uh -huh. está bien. Let's do it. Ok. Gracias por su tiempo, Carlos. Thank bueno. you so much. Y nos vemos mañana. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye, bye. Bye.